Hi guys, my name is Michelle. I'm a tutor for Chegg Tutors and I usually teach English, math, and psychology. Today we're going to be talking about Broca's area. Broca's area is one of the main areas of the cerebral cortex. It's responsible for producing language. The region of the brain was actually named after a French neurosurgeon, Paul Broca, who discovered the function of Broca's area while examining the brains of patients with language difficulties. Broca's area is involved in several functions of the body, including speech production, facial neuron control, and language processing. So for a long time, it was assumed that the role of Broca's area was mo more devoted to language production rather than a language comprehension point of view. So recent evidence actually demonstrate that, demonstrates that Broca's area also plays a significant role in language comprehension. Patients with damage in Broca's area who exhibit a grammatical speech production also show inability to use syntactic information to determine the meaning of sentences. So the brain area controls motor functions involved with speech production. People who have damage to Broca's area of the brain can understand language, but they can't properly form the words or produce the speech. Broca's area is connected to another brain region called Wernicke's area. And this is easy, it's easy to confuse these two. So let me explain this uh, from the point of view of aphasia. Aphasia is an acquired language disorder affecting all modalities such as writing, reading, listening, speaking. It results from brain damage, and it's usually chronic, and there's two types, Broca's aphasia and Wernicke's aphasia. Broca's aphasia involves individuals who know what they want to say, but they just can't get it out. Wernicke's aphasia has a major impairment of language comprehension, so while speech remains a natural sounding rhythm and a relatively normal syntax, it doesn't really make sense, so it's usually called fluent jargon. The underactivity of Broca's area is also associated with a disorder called uh, stuttering, and it's a very common speech disorder. That is all for tonight. Thank you for listening.